Once upon a time, something magical happened. Imagine this big fluffy cloud in the sky. Now picture it transforming into a whole galaxy, like the Andromeda Galaxy. Cool, right? For ages, we could only gaze at Andromeda from afar, using telescopes from Earth. But guess what? We got better tech now, including the awesome James Webb Space Telescope. It's like upgrading from a little flashlight to a super-powered spotlight. Now with this cool telescope, we're learning crazy stuff about Andromeda. But hold on to your hats, because it's not all rainbows and sunshine. The James Webb just found something kind of spooky out there. Scientists are scratching their heads, trying to decode what's going on. They're excited and a bit freaked out. What's the big deal? Well, imagine your alarm clock going off super early and you have no idea why. That's how the scientists feel right now. Just a moment ago, the James Webb telescope suddenly shut down. Why? Because it got some weird signals from Andromeda that set off its alarms. It's like Andromeda sent a cosmic SOS. See, back in the day, folks thought our Milky Way was the whole universe. But now, with these fancy tools, we're realizing there's a whole galaxy party out there, and we're just getting the invites. But when we found the Andromeda galaxy, everything changed. It was the first sign that the universe is much bigger than the Milky Way. In our minds, in the 1600s, Galileo Galilei's groundbreaking work with binoculars showed what the Milky Way really looked like. He saw that the Milky Way had many stars, which went against the idea that it was the most important thing in the universe. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble used the Hooker telescope to find faraway things beyond the Milky Way. This changed everything. It was Edwin who noticed that these moving objects in space were galaxies other than the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy, or M31, was one of them. ABD al-Rahman al-Sufi, a Persian scientist, first wrote about the Andromeda Galaxy around the year 1050. But this was the first time we saw it through a telescope. Astronomers were able to see and understand what Andromeda was really like because of progress in technology in the 20th century. Andromeda is a cloud of gas and dust made up of a very large galaxy of stars, like our own Milky Way. Our friend in space is about 2.5 million light years from the Milky Way. The way we study Andromeda has changed a lot since it was first found. From using telescopes on the ground to using space telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, we have come a long way. With each new piece of technology, we've reached new heights and learned more about the Andromeda Galaxy. Given that we now know more about its makeup and structure, Andromeda has become a standard for studying how galaxies form and grow. This has given us more information about how the universe works in a bigger sense. Scientists think that we need to study the link between Andromeda and the Milky Way to learn more about the universe. This is especially important since the two galaxies will eventually crash into each other in about 4 billion years. Even though research and studies have moved forward, the James Webb Telescope recently got a signal from Andromeda that made them worried. Scientists all over the world are confused by this worrisome signal, which has led to questions about where it came from and what it might mean. The advanced sensors on the James Webb Telescope have found strange behavior right in the center of Andromeda. The signal sent back to scientists shows results that are very different from what has been seen before, which interests scientists all over the world. The signal shows that there are big things happening inside the galaxy, which might have something to do with its giant black hole or with things that haven't been seen before. One of the most recent discoveries is that Andromeda's mass might be much larger than the Milky Way's. This changes how we think about the sizes of both galaxies. The James Webb Telescope has also taken very clear pictures and spectra of Andromeda, which have shown how new stars are made and what chemicals they are made of. This new information is important for knowing how galaxies have changed over time and what conditions might be right for life. The telescope data also shows that Andromeda's active galactic center is becoming more active, which will have an effect on its surroundings and determine how it will be structured in the future. Researchers are also learning more about how mysterious dark matter is spread out in the galaxy by studying the effects of gravity on stars in Andromeda. This should help us better understand how dark matter affects the physics of the universe. As it stands, 
One of the biggest mysteries in astronomy is dark matter and how it affects the world. Recent discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope have sparked many studies around the world as astronomers try to figure out what Andromeda is all about. We now know more about the past and future of the galaxy because new knowledge has come to light. So what do different studies tell us about the Andromeda galaxy? There are some amazing things about Andromeda that set it apart from other galaxies in the world. People are amazed by how big it is. New estimates put its width at about 220,000 light years, which makes it one of the biggest galaxies in our group and even bigger than the Milky Way. Its mass comes from its huge size. It is made up of about a trillion stars, which is more than our galaxy. Scientists are also interested in how the galaxy is put together. Andromeda is not like most spiral galaxies because its center bulges and its dense core is surrounded by rings of dust and gas. This makes it a great place for stars to keep forming. One of the most interesting things about it is its center, which has a double peak emission that suggests it has a supermassive black hole, similar to but not the same as the Milky Ways. This gives us important information about these huge holes that eat matter and what they do. Andromeda is also surrounded by a sphere of stellar junk that is hundreds of thousands of light years across and made up of stars, planets, and globular clusters. This space cover tells an interesting and thorough story about how the galaxy came to be and its past. The 460 globular clusters found in Andromeda also give us information about how stars form in their very early stages. This makes it easy to understand how star clusters form and how the galaxy first formed. Astronomers are getting closer to knowing what dark matter means in the big picture by putting together the puzzles of Andromeda. But there is still one question. How do they explain how mysterious it is and what part it plays and how galaxies move? Andromeda also has something else that makes it stand out. Galaxies that orbit around it. It has more than 20 smaller galaxies making up its halo structure. Some of these galaxies are losing their stars and gas to the tides. Small galaxies that are nearby are pulled in and destroyed by a bigger galaxy. This shows that cosmic evolution is active and shows how galaxies grow and interact with each other over time. How will things go from here for the Andromeda galaxy? Astronomers and people who want to learn more about the universe are both interested in its shape and the way it moves. Andromeda's growth is based on the idea that it could change from a spiral galaxy to a ring galaxy. There is evidence of a process that could lead to other rare pairings. This process could be caused by galaxies colliding or interacting closely with each other. If Andromeda is really moving in this way, it means that since it was born, it has had a lot of deals with other galaxies. In the end, Andromeda's future rests on its impending collision with the Milky Way. Based on these models, the impact is thought to happen in about 4 billion years. After such an impact, these two very large celestial bodies will give birth to a new galaxy. Even though the impact is a normal part of how galaxies grow and change, galaxy collisions don't have direct impacts because the galaxies are so far apart. When the two galaxies collide, they will have completely changed forms and compositions as their gases and dust combine. New stars will be born, making for a spectacular show in the sky as the objects merge and shine brightly. Finally, this kind of cosmic event will cause a single irregular galaxy to form. The universe has a long history of collisions like this one, but the fact that we can directly take part is what makes it interesting to us. The expected collision of the supermassive black holes at the centers of the two galaxies adds even more mystery to the show in the sky. This shows that the evolution of the universe is very complicated and deep. It is thought that the merger will cause blasts as matter is sucked into the black hole, which will release a lot of radiation. This process gives us useful information about how galaxies change over time and how black holes impact this change. But it brings up an important question. What will happen to our solar system after this merger? The solar system would not be completely destroyed, but its direction and conditions could be changed a lot. This means that the orbits could change or even be ejected from the newly formed galaxy. 
To figure out how this process works, scientists can look at how big similar events are and try to figure out what will happen to our galaxy in the long run. Because the space between galaxies is so big, it is important to know that star collisions don't happen very often. But the change in gravity could throw off stars' fixed orbits, which could cause some stars like our Sun to change their paths. This kind of change could really mess up the climate on Earth. Moving farther or closer to the Sun is one of the most important changes people can go through. This could either make things warmer or cooler. If it gets colder, a new type of ice age could start. If it gets warmer, ice caps could melt and sea levels would rise. In addition, the shape of such a setup could mess up the amount of radiation coming to Earth, making things even more difficult. The fact that the Andromeda and Milky Way systems have joined together shows how complicated the relationships are between heavenly bodies. As time goes on, the black holes in both galaxies may get closer together, which could make it easier for high-energy particles to reach Earth. This could lead to more cosmic radiation getting through our atmosphere. A possible rise in radiation levels could be bad for the world's ecosystems because it could cause mutations and lower the variety of life on Earth. But dark matter is still one of the most puzzling and interesting things that scientists are trying to figure out. It takes up about 90% of the mass of a galaxy and can't be seen. One thing that is typical of dark matter is that it can't be found using normal methods. Dark matter is different from other astronomical objects because it can only be seen by looking at its effects on visible objects, radiation, and the framework of the universe as a whole.